Welcome to In Her Voice, a podcast created for women who listen to and live by their deepest wisdom, their inner voice. This was made for you, the woman who feels pulled to more, to lead, to create, to dream, and to be a world changer. My name is Kelly Covert, and I am an inner voice coach. Join me here each week as we explore what it means to reach for your inspired potential, all while honoring your worthiness each and every day. Hello, this is Kelly, and you are listening to In Her Voice. Thanks for being here today. I am going to give just a quick little update for this episode because I realized that I've been feeling something that I think a lot of us are feeling right now. And the word that has really stuck out to me as the thing that I am needing is recalibration. Things are changing so quickly in our world and also so slowly. Do you know what I mean? Yesterday was different than today. Tomorrow will be different than today. And yet so much of it is the same. It can be confusing, right? And what really brought this on for me was my kids going back to school. And I realized mid-September that this was the first time in over 18 months that I had had five days in a row where I was essentially by myself from eight to five all day long. And that hasn't happened in so long. I forgot what it was like. And I also forgot how to navigate it. So maybe you're feeling this way too. Not the exact situation, but this idea that I don't remember how I used to be. And when we have that question, we can look back, we can reflect backwards and try to be that same person that we were, or we can recalibrate. We can become a new person in the best sort of way. And I was thinking about this idea of recalibrating, you know, where it comes from is, for example, um, a scale, say a kitchen scale, where you're going to weigh your ingredients to bake bread. After use, after a long period of use, that scale can become not accurate anymore. And so it requires a recalibration. So it can begin again to measure things correctly, to do what it is meant to do in the right way. And there are steps to recalibrating an instrument or a scale or anything like that. And it got me to thinking about what are the steps that I require to recalibrate myself to get back to zero, if you will, zero in the best way where it's just me and I can remember who I am and be who I am and understand who I am now. So as I sat with this, I realized it's kind of complicated, this process of recalibrating. It's not intuitive necessarily. And so we must take the time first to acknowledge that we need it. So what are some of the signs that you might be needing a personal recalibration? Some of the things that came up for me was I was really restless. Like all of a sudden I had this time that I had been craving, like I had been craving alone time for literally months and months and months. And now I had it and I didn't know what to do with it. And I had feelings that surprised me. One of the feelings that I felt, no joke, no joke. I felt lonely despite 
wanting to be by myself. I wanted to be by myself. And at the same time, I missed having people around. I think that's because I got used to it. I got used to the distractions. I got used to the rhythm of working at home, knowing that I could be interrupted at any given time. So all of a sudden, when I didn't have those interruptions, I didn't quite know how to be anymore. It's almost that I felt I was always on edge when I had the distractions. And now that the distractions were gone, I felt on edge in a different way, expecting to be interrupted at any given minute, but yet knowing that I wouldn't be. And then how do I structure my day? How do I get things done? Because partly, you know, working at home and having the kids at home and knowing those distractions are there and that they could come in at any minute. I was always working with this sense of like urgency. Oh, I have to get this done right now before I get interrupted or before my flow stops. And then all of a sudden I didn't have that anymore. So I had to recalibrate to a new way of being by myself. And another feeling that I felt was restlessness. What do I do with all of this time? Am I wasting this time? Oh, that's a big one for me, you guys. I just want to be 100% transparent. I worry so much about if I am wasting time that I hardly ever enjoy time doing nothing. And it's something I'm working on. And I share this with you because I feel I'm probably not the only person (laughs) who feels this way. We are often so driven and so indoctrinated to this idea that we must be productive all of the time. That when we deliberately choose to do nothing, it's hard to let go of the guilt around that. It's hard to relax. It's hard to do nothing. And then when you are doing nothing, you're worried that you're wasting time or that you should be doing something. And so it doesn't ever feel good. So that came up for me with this extra time. I was feeling really restless. I was not understanding how I should use my time well. And I was also worried that I wasn't using it well. So there's a disconnect there. So that's another sign that you need to recalibrate, that you need to begin to take a look at what you need and what you want, and how you want to feel. And when we do this, we're essentially reteaching ourselves who we are. I think it's easy to forget who we are, especially when we're in the middle of a freaking global pandemic. It's hard to remember who we are when we're just getting by. And I think sometimes we get stuck in the just getting by. Sometimes we go for years in the just getting by. And then all of a sudden we kind of lift our head up. You know, we've had our head down and we've just been like just getting by, just getting by. And we lift our head up and we look around and we say, oh, wait a minute. Is this the life that I wanted? Did I really just want a life of getting by? of making just the things that I need, of fulfilling just my needs? What happens to the things that we want if we're just getting by? I believe that we can have more than that. And I'm not talking about money. I mean, I think that's part of it, honestly. But I'm talking about feeling. I'm talking about the way you feel about the life that you're living. I think one of the greatest tragedies is this feeling of resignation of, oh, I guess this was it. I guess this is it. I guess this is the life that I was meant to live and feeling dissatisfaction in that yet not knowing what to do with it. 
I call that the rub. I've talked about that here before, that sense of dissatisfaction. That's another sign. That's another signal that it's time to recalibrate. And the truth is we can keep going through life without ever recalibrating. We can keep trudging along. We can keep getting by. We can keep doing the same things that we've always done. And there's a predictability to that. There's a safety to that. There's a comfort almost to that. But the challenge is we're never going to feel the way we want to feel. We're never going to have that sense of purpose, that sense of drive, that sense of enoughness. Unless we honor the desires that we have within. It's essential. So as I sat with and journaled on this idea of recalibrating, I had basically a framework that just plopped down in my mind of the steps that we take to recalibrate. But before I want to get into the steps, I really want you to sit with yourself right now. Go deep. Take a listen to your inner voice and see what she is asking of you. Because if it is a time for recalibration, that means there's a little bit of work to be done. And you have to be honest with yourself. Are you ready to do that work? Are you ready to take a look at what might need to shift and what might need to change in order to feel like you are working and being at your best? That's what, that's what, calibration is it's working optimally when we recalibrate a machine we're we're getting it back to that baseline of working optimally and that's what i think we all seek and we all desire and i think it has to go deeper than just thinking i want more you have to be really clear on that So I am going to, in the next solo episode, share the steps of recalibration. And I'm doing this in two parts with purpose because I want you to sit with yourself. I want you to listen. I want you to get still, get a pen and paper if you need to, and ask yourself the question, is it time for me to recalibrate? And if the answer is yes, the further question that you can ask your inner voice is, what needs to shift? So start there this week. And in two weeks, I'll have another solo episode and we'll talk about some specific steps that you can take to begin this recalibration process. And here's a secret. This is step one, thinking about it, being aware of it. So go throughout your week and have that thought in your mind. Start to notice if you're feeling restless or if you're feeling an emotion that's surprising to you, like for me, loneliness. Or if you're feeling blah. Or if you're feeling like you're just getting by. Notice these feelings and sit with that and see what comes up for you. And then we'll touch in in two weeks and we'll talk about the four steps to recalibrate. And this is um, step zero. I'll call this step zero. And then we'll get into the four steps of how to recalibrate. Remember, this is the work that we are all here to do. And it is not required of you to do this work alone. You can do it with me here on the podcast. And if you need more, you can do it with me one-on-one. And I love, love, love to spend time with women and help them learn that they are enough now. It would bring me so much pleasure and joy to help you learn to listen to your inner voice. And if that's something that you have a deep desire for, and that you feel you need help with, please reach out to me. You can head on over to my 
website, kellycover.com and go to kellycover.com slash ideas. You can sign up for an idea hour. This is the perfect way to get started. Why ideas? Because that's how my inner voice talks to me with ideas. And I love to share that gift with you too. And I can help you learn to listen in that way. kellycovert.com slash ideas. Sign up for an idea hour and give yourself the gift of support in listening to your inner voice. Remember this. You are amazing. You are here for a reason. You have a purpose. You are worthy. Thank you.